get a Keisha. Come on in here. Come on, Keisha. Turn up with me, girl. Hey, hey, hey. When you take a chance on the love of you, Feeling this energy, y'all. What do you say? So hold on tight if you think you're right. Cause nothing works as bad as when you see you gave up too easily. Say this. Now I remember spending all my time on a dream. Who wanna end up? Oh. I'm on live. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you. Who blessed me with that gift right there? Let me see. Who, who did the first one? Unbothered. For me to get the love that I've been missing. Somebody not happy I'm bothered in your energy. Somebody not not happy about you working with somebody else. And they acting like it's causing them a problem. Because you done advanced your life. Trying to fuck them people. Want you to stay somewhere being stagnant. You ain't supposed to do that. Keep moving, baby. And then when they get to looking, talking crazy, you look at them stupid. Look like they're like, why are you looking like that? Cut. Who's talking to? I'm okay. Not shame. Hey, love you. So that that's for you. Um. That's for you, unbothered. Don't worry about it, because you, you sent me that first gift that I had one. Tell these folks, my favorite thing of this year, my, my motto this year is, boy, fuck you. And if need be, girl, fuck you too. Okay. Do you look good? Cause Amethyst, hey, boo. Love you. Thank you, baby. Shit, I, I, honey, I been walking around here like my top lip stink like hell, baby. Emerald, I be doing like this. You see how it curved up right there? Phone BJ, talk, pop out. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Ooh it's a breakthrough in romance. Oh, satisfaction, wish fulfillment, all is well. It's the ending of the cycle because of the transformation that you made. Somebody from the past trying to come back, but you don't know if you need to go towards it. You need to drop the old mindset and get with the new thing, okay? People can change. Remember that time you had changed? Okay, people can change because remember how you had changed? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I just want you to know that, okay? Shit going down. Let it happen now. D don't jump all into it, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, now keep your little thing on, you know, the little cover all, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Keep your little cover all on until you're ready to take that motherfucker out. Okay, okay, I got you now. You send me one of them gifts tonight, I'm gonna some cards for you. That's it, okay? I love you, thank you. Like I said, if y'all blessing me, I'm gonna bless y'all. I got a new cash app, y'all, and it's dollar sign Jetta to go get a 14, okay? So I just want y'all to know I had to switch up some shit. I love you, baby. I had, I had to get you, had to get you right. You got me right, cousin. I love you. I appreciate that. Y'all, we finna play. We finna get into this love shit, okay? What is this? This better not be no damn Stephanie. It is Stephanie Mills, y'all. Because you cut them off. They don't know what to do since you cut them off. 
But being like a king of cups in the reverse, like insensitive and shit like that, and they want you to come back in. Come in, talk to me, I love you. We soulmates. But honey, you don't see this going on in no calm waters. As a matter of fact, this person rushing in, going out, going ham, trying to offer you some shit, but after the backstabbing betrayal that they try to do, you just looking at them stupid. You looking at that like, who finna, who finna do this? Let me see what's at the bottom. Yeah, if I'm coming to the first, you ain't in no regret. You ain't feeling sad about it. You don't want to hear that shit. Hey, Nike. How you doing this? They got my good cousin. Hey, y'all. Yeah, Najee. Like, what? Why fuck you? Why would I do this? Why would I? Look, you done learned to respect the power of love. And that shit was not fucking love. So, no. Go cry in the car. Go and get your ass in the car and cry about it. <laughs> don't laugh at him too hard, cuz. <laughs> He like, he like, looking out the blind. <laughs> he finna be standing on the bottom of your damn porch like that dude on way next hell. You raggedy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he said he's gonna slide down the wall. <laughs> he gonna be crying. Baby, get your ass up. Get out of these folk things. <laughs> Look, let me, hold on, let me put it. I'm putting it in the comments, y'all. It won't let me um put my own in my own stuff in the comments but my new cash app is Jetta to go get a 14 with the dollar sign in front of it let me see can I pin it oh it said it let me do it this time okay then so we finna get ready to play hey Coastal what's going on boo we finna get ready to play soulmate right and let me tell y'all why this might be confirmation for some people, okay? Hold on, I gotta get it. Hello? I'm trying to, hold on. Yeah, I go. Because some of y'all cut some of them ties that was draining y'all in. It's passionate. Hey, girl, come here. Come here. Let me tell y'all what happened. Listen, listen. Some of y'all had cut some of the ties that was draining y'all energy and blocking love and money. Listen to me. It was blocking love and money. Because you was loving on people by giving them money and they didn't reciprocate the energy. So all of your energy was going into the wrong people. Shh. Yes, you did. Well, since you totally got them out of your energy now, right? Oh, thank you, cousin. I fucking love you. Look, you want to get in my inbox on my Instagram so we can talk about this. Because you keep blessing me and I like that. You got them folks up out of your energy and get with all of the love and the money that you were supposed to be receiving. Been on reserve. It's like a, if you can imagine a dam with the rocks. And the water about to flow through it. And it's got a little peephole right there. And so it's been like pushing the rocks out. It don't push about like three or four rocks out. So it's like water just squirting up out that shit like. <laughs> Baby, when the, the bow is fin to break. So that's why I got to get you prepared. Because if you my cousin. You been single for a minute, and your ass don't know how to, hey, my poo, you don't know how to let folks in your energy. Yes, you, shut up, shut your ass up, look at you. It ain't that, you always talking about some it ain't, yes, the hell it is. For somebody to do some one thing wrong, you be like, oh, no, I don't like the way you chew, I don't want to talk to him no more. Oh, no, you smell like you pooed it yesterday. Everybody pooed it every day. <laughs> Quit all that stuff trying to find something wrong with some damn body. That's what's wrong, okay? So we're going to get up out of that. I'm going to drag your ass out of this shit, okay? Because it's time for us to get what's supposed to be for us. But we can't get that shit because we're still in defense mode, okay? <laughs> Listen, Big D, what's up, baby? Well, I'm trying to tell you all the <laughs> We pooed every day. <laughs> and you're like, mm -mm. I, don't, I don't like him. Look at his eyes look too close together. Because you squinting, bitch. Stop trying to find something wrong with him. Ain't nothing wrong. Damn. <laughs> I'm telling your business. <laughs> Cousin, it's the season.
for us to stop bullshitting ourselves, okay? We gotta stop. It's us. Sometimes. Not all the time. But this time, right now, today, at this very moment, it's us. Bitch, I've been single so damn long. I do not need nobody coming over here talking to me, breathing and stuff. This, uh, uh, no. Oh, your ass. I won't hear what for. Like, <laughs> Well, Spirit had done told me that I needed to really get my ass outside. That's why I went to three parks the other day. Hey, Cheryl. Love you. I went to three parks because I was like, you bitch, you need to go outside because your ass been in the house. Hey, look, your name say why you care. Let me tell you, cuz. Hey, cousin. How you doing? Let me tell you. I like your name because this is why I got to care about us. Listen. Baby, we ain't supposed to be like this. We ain't supposed to be like this. We had to put up a fence. Then a wall. The same wall that Trump used to be talking about. We put that shit up around our love life. Mm. 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 Baby, we got to cut that. We got to knock that bitch. <laughs> like the walls of Jericho. Jericho. Bring down the wall of Jericho. We got to knock that shit down because we don't even need it no more. Let me tell you why we don't need it no more. We healing. Think about it, y'all. We healing. It don't make no sense for us to keep doing the same stuff when we was when we didn't even know we should have been on a journey to heal because we don't learn different. And if we perish due to lack of knowledge, we ain't we in what is it? How you say it? We we got knowledge now. We can't just keep on. Like like it's like. I never let nobody treat me like that again. Okay, so what next? How do you want to be treated? I didn't think about that part, but I know how I don't want to be treated. Okay, we got that. That shit is set in stone. When somebody comes treating you like that, that little thing gonna go off in the back of your head. It's gonna stop that shit immediately. How do you want to be treated? Hmm. You can't keep on. <laughs> I got some mopping up to do. We can't keep on doing the whole cut, 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 cut. You know? I don't like it when somebody will say, well, I was trying to give you this because that's what most folks, most folks don't most folks me. But in fairness to you, hey, Kelly, baby, love you. In fairness to you, if you, if I don't tell you how I want to be treated, you probably will, most folks be. But in fairness to me, if you don't allow me the opportunity to tell you how to navigate around me, you go, most folks be. I don't need that. You don't need that. We don't need that. Okay? So, I want to do what you want to do. I don't even want to do what I want. I want to do what we want to do. Ask my cousin. We got us some, you know, we got us a little relationship. We ain't been letting nobody come over here popping that shit. I wish somebody would say something out the way to you. Because lips is ready. Hey, you talking about them shit's pink today. Eyes is blue. We ain't been letting nobody come over here popping that shit. I wish somebody would say something out the way to you. Because lips is ready. Hey, you talking about them shit's pink today. Eyes is blue. And on hip. Be wet. Who you talk to? I will get on them cousins. Ain't nobody finna do that to you. What did you saying? And I would want that same thing for me. Because that's how we treat each other. You know what I'm saying? So now, let's think about our relationship. How do we want that person in our relationship to treat us? This is a moment for you to, you know, think about what you want to write down later on there. Because it's not bad to be about what you want to write down later on there. Because... It's not bad to be a certain age. Everybody that's in my age range, like between, I'll say between like 50 and, well, 30 and 50, man, they wouldn't let us talk. They just made us, you can't do this. You know better than that. How would we know, you know? So now we're older. We're not being raised. Though we had to deal with some of the trauma of what people said, 
We have clarity now. We have our own free will. Sit down and get to know yourself. Sit down and ask yourself, what would I, me, I, like to eat today? Not my children, not my significant other. Is there something that I would like? I'm in a routine, but this routine consists of this person, that person. I'm doing all of this for everybody. Ooh, I love you, Amada. You know you finna get ready for me. I'm gonna do you a minute. I'm trying to do all of this stuff. What is my personal routine? When does it happen for, what do I do for me? Hey, Mona, love you. Like when I get up in the morning and I pray, I open my eyes. I'm like, Father God, thank you for waking me up. I got to say it real quick because sometimes I might forget to do something else or I might get up and got to pee. I'm God, thank you. Before my feet hit the grow, hit the flow, I've decided that with my day, I want to start it off with prayer. Then I go to the bathroom. I don't give a shit if I go wear my little nightgown thing and put the little onesie over it, the gold duba wrap. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to get them gums. You hear me? Because that's, that's a part. That's what I want to do for me. I remember uh, once upon a time, I'd be like, I wouldn't even brush my teeth first because I got to wake up the kids and I got to do this and I got to make sure this happened. I'm going to make sure I'm all right first. But believe it or not, I had to keep telling myself this. It took me a couple of months. I had to remind myself to think about myself first. You know what I'm saying? And I'm... <laughs> As crazy as it sounds, hey, Lucky, love you. As crazy as it sounds, I never considered me. I had a relationship, had children and all this shit. But I was moving on this nigga time. I'm worried about this. The kids got to do this and everybody, all this shit. What a, what a, to the point where I couldn't draw myself crazy because I couldn't drive myself nowhere. I wasn't even there. I didn't count. You know what I'm saying? Figure out. You know, people will be like, I, I don't. I figured out. I, I don't like the people to be like. What I was saying to you is, don't fucking talk to me like that. I understand that you got some childish ass person in your life that when y'all have a misunderstanding and you can't get on the same page you because they're acting narcissistically you treat them like a child if i'm having a misunderstanding with you i'm not acting childish i'm misunderstanding what you're saying we can talk to each other better but if you think you're gonna talk to me with all that I, <laughs> bitch i'm gonna make you look fucking stupid i'm gonna humble the shit out of you and you'll never talk to me like that again Ain't shit fucking slow about me. Don't ever fucking do that. I will. Pro I promise on my grandma, I'm gonna hurt your fucking feelings. I don't like being talked to like that. A misunderstanding does not mean that I don't have comprehension. I could be looking at something because I have my set of eyes and you have your set of eyes. That's called a different fucking perspective. I see it from a different way. If we wasn't raised the same, if it ain't common, it won't make sense. So don't start with, well, common sense. Oh, you're used to bullshit, not me. It ain't common for me to be messing with somebody else, man, and having an argument about him, why he not leaving his situation that he done subjected you to. Because I don't do shit like that. The fuck? So no, I'm sorry. Your sense ain't coming to me. So don't fucking talk to me like I ain't got no sense because you want to do stupid shit. Oh, I like them. Thank you. Don't do that. I had to learn over a certain time. I didn't like stuff like that. And then I had to implement the fact that when somebody did that, I don't got to be, bitch, you talking to them. I'm going to address it first. Hey, 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 let me stop you right there. You ain't got to talk to me like that. I don't like that. 
True enough, we might be on different pages right now. We might need to revisit this, but it's getting to the point where you're getting disrespectful and I don't like it. So let's just talk about it later on. Let's do something else. And we can take a break if we need to. But at this big age, hey, cousin, now nah, you come on in right on time. I ain't even pulled up for yet. At this big age, if you think you can talk me like that, and I'm finna let you, maybe you on your way to not talking to me at all. Because I'm finna block you. Auntie! Hey, love! I started to stop by and see you the other day, but I hadn't called yet. I'm probably gonna come by and see you next week. Just to pop in. I don't want nothing. I just wanna come sit with you and say hey. See what you got going on. Rub your legs a little bit. Bring you some more oil if you need it. You need some oil. Let me know if you need some oil, Auntie. I'll bring you some. I love you. Cousins, let's get into it. I'm finna deal for us. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. If you don't know my page, come on in. Hey. Ah, ah, ah. I'm P. Frank and Beverly. Cause you make me happy. Uh, uh, cousin. Yes, you can. You stood right beside me. Yeah. And I won't forget.
I want a cousin. I, boy, pull your eyes back, cause I want. I'm that's how excited I am to see you. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm well, Adonis, you gonna come on the cruise with us? Oh, Adonis, I want you to come on a cruise with us. Cause I'm meeting some of my cousins. We gonna get it all planned out. We'll have it all done. And get, look, we gonna put every, all the information out for January because we finna get ready to start our thing for the people who got the books. Y'all, the stuff is coming. It's coming. It should be on the way. Okay, so remember how I said we're gonna play this thing called Soulmates, right? Y'all, look, I'm telling y'all, I'm having so much fun with y'all. Like, we just got done turning all the way up. I feel everybody's energy. It feels so good. But it feels this good because we on the right side of karma. Like, y'all my cousins. Y'all my family. I done cut ties with everybody that didn't mean nothing. And I picked y'all. So, now that we on the right side of karma, everything feel good. I can feel y'all energy better. I do know. Now, let me let me be real. I understand that we all are still going through some stuff. There's some financial hardships going on. You know, a lot of people are still trying to work out their stability and stuff. But let's be fair to ourselves. The only reason why you still got some of that going on is because of the residue of what people was doing against you. It is wearing off. Thank you, cousin. <laughs> it's wearing off. And I know you can tell the difference of how stuff used to be not even two weeks ago. You know? So don't worry about the, the stuff that you can't change, okay? If you're going to pray, don't worry. Hey, Celestial. But if you're going to worry, don't pray. And all things do it with love, right? So we ain't going to sit up here and keep being sad about some shit we can't change. Let's celebrate in the things that we can. We just let go of a lot of people that pretended to love us. And we just picked up a lot of people who honestly do. That's a blessing in itself. We want to stay right in that energy. And I understand the hardship of how it's been having to navigate through this life by yourself. And even though we ain't in group of each other, we can't just touch each other like that. The moments that we share here with each other, that's going to take us so much further than anything that we ever experienced with people that could have been right in the same room with us. They didn't love you. Okay? I love you. <laughs> it panned out like I said. You got more? Y'all, congratulations, Mr. Ooh. Y'all need to get y'all juke, cuz. Y'all need to get y'all juke. I had drunk me the pink refresher today, and we had so much fun. Today, I had fun with my friend. I didn't promote me. I didn't promote, I promoted my friend, and we had a blast. And according to my friend, I made a prediction earlier today, and he said it went according to the plan. All we gonna do is win. It look, she said it's about trust. Listen, it's about faith. Ain't nothing can come between us. If you don't let it, if you don't let it, I am here to encourage you so much because I just found out. I found out that I didn't know I had to take care of myself like that. I didn't know I had to think about me. I didn't know I had to include me in this. But now that I know, I'm going to do just that. And I want you to do it too. Okay? Now, listen what they say. Because I'm telling you, I, I, I am burning up. Listen to this. I love you. <laughs> Big butterfly, I love you. This says lovers, but this is about like a connect, not a, not a soulmate. This is like friends, like how we cousins, right? It says choice. We making a choice about the people that we want in our life. Behind this, it says the death card. That's Scorpio energy. We in Scorpio season. It says termination and renewal. Death is ending in a new beginning, right? Because of actions, what we're going to do. And it's going to shake up something amazing in our lives. Now, look. Page of Cups in reverse is saying that we had to let some stuff go and stop 
taking just anything, four cups in reverse, from people that we knew were jealous of us and envious of us. Think about it like this. A lot of times people can say, well, this is my in my relationship. They're not jealous of me. If every time you try to do something, they try to stop you from doing that, that's jealousy. That's because you go get too big and go away from them. If you're trying to progress with anything and they say, for instance, you go and you build something nice and they go and knock it down. They don't want to see you win. That's why that cycle had to end. Now all is well. And somebody's got to just sit back and watch. Okay? Because you have a higher level of commitment. It says the healer. And it's bringing in stability. I'm t I told you this earlier. Look at this. The king and the queen of pentacles are side by side. This is also bringing in love and balance. And you don't even see it coming. You see it say vagueness. The reason why you don't see it right now is because you'll fuck it up. I'm just trying. Shut up. Stop yelling at me. I was telling you the truth. Now let's be fair. If you don't even know how you like to be loved, how do you know if you've ever been loved properly before? Like, hear me out. It's showing me there's a higher level of commitment that's about to come in and bring balance to you and you don't see it coming. I didn't never be in love with neither one of the people that I had kids with. It was convenience. I, I have love for them, but I wasn't in love with none of them. I already knew we weren't going to work out, so when, when they broke up, I didn't get sad about it. Let's just figure out how we going to co-parent. I didn't know that back then, though. Know? And then... It took me to be alone for a minute for me to figure out about myself. Then I was like, oh shit, you know, damn. Well, what do I like? Damn, and that was an even bigger revelation for me. I had to learn me. Now that I know me more, if this King of Pentacles, you know, the King of Pentacles is the new dude. If this King of Pentacles decide to come on in here and talk about some hey, I'm going to say hey back. I'm not going to be, I'm not. Nowhere when I meet a new person, hey cousin, love you. Nowhere when I meet a new person am I bringing up somebody from my past. If I have to leave, give an example of that, that shit going to be on down the road somewhere. I remember something like that. It'll say Something like that. I had a similar situation. Now, if we just pillow talk and get into it like that, it's going to be, hey, Rhonda, love you. It's going to be way down there when I know you're comfortable and I know you're not insecure. And <sighs> new dude, listen, cousins. My boy cousins especially. On the first day that you meet somebody you're interested in, do not... Start any sentence saying, man, my ex had, boy, boy, how old is you? Because uh, in 12 days, I'll be 39, okay? And at 39, I stopped hearing shit like that about 25 ago. Don't start nothing like that. Females, your ass. And you better listen to me good. Y'all got a habit, stinking ass habit of. Well, I, well, well, what you got? Huh? Who, who you been talking to? Well, what you been? Bitch, if you don't calm the fuck down with that stupid shit. Oh, I know you been. Don't hold a man out all the time because all of them ain't hoes. But the reason why you ain't never met one because you been looking for a nigga you can control. I'm sorry. Y'all talk about they looking for a, a, a stupid bitch and you looking for somebody that you can control too. 
So you didn't go and look for that man that matched what you was talking about because you knew he couldn't deal with your fucking mouth. You say, I don't think he ready for me. No, I don't think you ready for you. I don't think you've calmed down in your spirit enough to be able to accept a man of that caliber. But instead of you saying that, you'll make it seem like something wrong. He might be gay. He might be that. No, you might be fucking stupid. I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm feeling the energy thereof. And I'm telling you that shit ain't gonna work in this season. Not if you're planning to get something. You need to look at yourself. You need to evaluate yourself. It is so easy for a woman to continue to talk about a man just like it is for a man to continue to talk about a woman. Look at all these podcasts they done fucking created and they keep giving everybody a goddamn own microphone and ain't nobody got no mirror. Y'all got hella fucking microphones and no mirror, but I want you to see something right here. Because one thing about me is I don't like to speak if I'm not going to practice what the fuck I preach. Do you see this mirror sitting right here? I'm looking at myself every fucking time. I'm going to check me. I'm going to make sure I'm doing exactly what I'm telling you. Okay? So... I don't just be over here just talking, but I didn't plan on showing y'all that mirror. But it's been there. Every day that I see here, this mirror sit right here. Mm -hmm. Because how the fuck I'm going to tell you something if I ain't living it? I'm living this shit. I'm going to check me first. I'm going to look right at me and I'm going to say, self, and myself going to say, hmm. And I'm going to say, bitch, you know better than that. You know, then damn well, you ain't ready for this. Sit down. You know what? You're right. You're right. I'm going to call and sit on down. I'm going to chill out for a minute. Good evening. Hey, Lynette. Love you. Mm -hmm. just, uh, just checking myself a little bit because this is the thing, though. I ain't checking myself because I'm just tripping. Hey, my husband. Love you. Hey, William. I ain't just tripping. I wasn't taught certain stuff. And then the examples that could have taught me is fucking slow as shit. I'm talking about slower than sloth coochie. So why would I listen to them tell me, Tish, hey, boo. Why would I listen to them tell me some shit? You know, I ain't never had nobody to show me how to do it. Ain't nobody had no business around me. And the ones who did have a business, they had like they didn't want to teach nobody no shit. So I didn't have nobody. I had to do what I had to do the way I had to do it. Now, if somebody going to come around and help me and teach me something different, I have to be willing to listen. I can't say, well, I did it like this for so long. That don't fucking matter. Just because you did it that long don't mean you did it right. And the word of God even said, if a man can't stand for correction, then something wrong with him. Scooby, what's up, boo? Love you. I, I, honey, I got to make sure I'm moving how I'm supposed to be moving. The right way. I don't want to put myself in no position where I'm just like leaning on a whole bunch of wrong old shit. Oh, my family used to do this. And what do they have? Fucking nothing. And so you're going to repeat the damn same shit? You're going to do what? My uncle them always did this from they still living in your grandma house. Oh. And you, you, you're telling me to do that? And then go nowhere? Nah, I, I'm tight on all that. I'm probably not going to do none of that shit you just said because your life ain't went no fucking where. And look at your damn teeth. Dude, let me tell you something. I ain't trying to be funny. But it might seem that way, but I don't give a fuck. Look at my teeth. Look at that. That ain't the most perfect teeth ever, but they there. Sir. Why when you missing this one and this one and this one and that one and this one is black as shit and, and you got caked up stuff over there, why would you come talking to me like I wanted you? Look at your th Why would you do that? And then why would you have a nerve to get upset with me when I do my face like that? You knew good... You knew the ugly 
Exactly you carried before you carried that shit over here to me. Y'all women don't know a good man and you don't know a good fucking dentist. You don't know a good toothbrush. You don't know a good motherfucking toothpaste to use. So don't tell me what the fuck I know. Because at least I know to go left and right then, left and right then, up and down and round and round and keep that tongue. You want to tell me some shit about knowing some shit? Do you know what you, you look like your breath stink. You look like if you talk to me, I'm going to feel something crawling on the top of my lip and it's going to be my nose hairs melting. <sighs> Get your lane. Stay in that lane. And don't jump out of it with me and then try to subject me to a thought process that you had that you knew you shouldn't have thought in the first place. Because I ain't going to think that. Matter of fact, I'm going to think something wrong with you for thinking that I was going to think some shit that you was thinking when you know I wasn't thinking it. Hmm? Don't do it no more. Don't let... Don't do it no more. Now, your outfit, I ain't too tough worried about that because you could have just been getting out of work. I know I be looking like I got out of work when I got out of work. That's cool. That's cool. I don't always retwist my hair. I ain't studying that because I know when you get dressed up, you get dressed up. But don't stand at the bus stop looking like that. Talking about, I want to take you out. How, bus stopper? How are you going to take me in? Well, you mean you want me to pull up on you. And then you're going to talk about you got some gas money. Come throw me $20. Then it's time to pay the park and you want to look out the other side of the fucking window. Nope. Keep that shit over there. Don't come over here talking. Look, look at me. Don't do that to yourself. Because I'm not in the season to pretend like I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm in the season of correction. I'm in the season of... Now, hey. Hey. Who you talking to? I'm finna be loud in this gas station. This shit echoing with this big thing over top of us. They finna look at you. Because why you do that? Hmm? You knew better. But if you want to act like you don't know, I'm going to act like I don't know neither. Okay? Now, we would've got that out the way. That's some shit we need to reevaluate because as I said, your money, you know why a lot of y'all don't have a love life? Your love life, you don't have the money that you're supposed to have to meet the person that you're supposed to meet. Now, Hold up, because y'all like to be, wow, sunshine, hey, fool. Let me break it down to you. Yes, some of y'all money have been held up in some areas. But you remember when you had that great ass idea and you kept making excuses as to why you couldn't do it. That money right there would have put you in the same room with that person that you wanted to meet. But you procrastinated and you waited and you made excuses. Hey, LaShawn. Oh, don't get mad. Don't start talking to me about shit because you had a lump sum of money. You decided to go out. You needed a vacation. You did not. You wanted to go out to this restaurant you saw about. You did not sit for none of those labels. You didn't sit for none of those bottles. You didn't get the wax for the candles. You didn't do anything that you said you was going to do. Don't sit up there and argue with me about no shit. I don't give a damn if they was holding up that. They didn't hold up absolutely everything. Instead of you doing the stuff that you were supposed to do, what you did, you said, I'm gonna, I ain't going to smoke no more. You went and bought another three five. You said, I'm going to cut back on the drink, and you went and bought a whole bottle of Amsterdam. Then what Uncle Eric called New Amsterdam, you like, Amsterdam. You went and bought some. And as you sat there, and you said in your emotions, and when you looked at your account and your money started going down, you started saying, damn, I should have, I should have. But you, then you started saying, they've been doing so it was easier to blame somebody else than take accountability for the shit that you could have changed that you did not. That's your fault. This go round. If you want to get to where you want to get to to meet the people you're supposed to meet, you got to put your best foot forward. 
You don't get to keep making excuses about some shit. Then number one, you didn't write down the plan. You keep talking about it. You keep telling folks you getting discouraged. I told them about this. And you should have seen how they had looked at me. What the fuck you tell them for? Because you knew that from the first place. Because when you got ready to tell them, you kind of looked over. Your spirit man had poked you and said, you ain't got to talk about this to them because they ain't even doing shit. Then you went to the bitch that be sitting up not doing nothing anyway. And you wanted to tell her, why is it that you need some excitement from this motherfucker when she ain't doing nothing in her life either? Hmm? Hmm? I'm just saying, we got to stop doing that. First of all, stop telling people what the fuck you're doing. Especially people that ain't doing shit themselves. You want some, hey, L, you want some type of clapping or something going on or something like that? Bring your ass on him. Let us talk about it. Uh-uh. You think that it was just the first one? I'm going to clarify. Look, first cough came out. She make it. It's the star. Baby, so much healing has fell on you to the point where you're in this, um, it's like, okay, you, you've mastered how folks are not going to treat you, how folks are not going to treat you. It's time to step into the category of how you are not going to treat you. In a bubble, you're in this little bubble away from them, but you in the bubble. What are you doing to you in the bubble? Because when it pops and you represent it to the people again, you can't keep on, you ain't finna do this to me, you ain't finna do Okay, then what are we finna do? I don't know, but it ain't gonna be that. No, let's find out what is it going to be. And take some of that haste out of your anger and shit. What's it gonna be? You know what? I think instead of entertaining an, a disagreement right at the very moment, I'm gonna wait a second. I'm gonna replay it in my own head by myself. I'm going to think about what you said, and then I'm going to come back to people. See, I'm going to start saying, I can't answer that right now. Let me get back to you. That works for me. Huh. That's going to make stuff easy. You know? So, I learned that I like to do that. Oh, God, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, you know, there we go. I didn't know that I could do that before because most people would always, we didn't do this right now. I'm quick to be like, let me know when you get done talking, then I'm gonna talk because I can't hear you when you talking and I'm talking at the same time. So you get finished and then I'll go. Immediately people want to get upset. You try to be smart. No, stupid. I can't fucking hear you. If I'm talking and you're talking, y'all got to stop doing that, trying to ego trip on. How the hell am I going to hear you if we both talking? And then when I'm saying something, you're trying to, no, no, no. I'm not going to keep getting loud with you. I'm just going to be quiet and listen and hear you. Do you know people get offended by you listening? And then they say stupid shit like, you, you only ain't listening. I'm trying to, but when I decide to be quiet, you say I'm acting funny. Do you want me to hear you or not? What is it the fuck that you, do you know what you want? You want me to engage in, oh, thank you, cousin. You want me to be jumping all up and down like a chicken with the head cut off, just going and doing all kind of shit. I, baby, I ain't, first of all, bones be popping. I could take a step right now. My damn knees going to get the click. Me and Megan ain't got shit in common. Do you hear me? So I ain't going to be doing all this stupid holler with your ass. Then at the drop of a dime, I can start sweating. I don't want to do that. So you know. I love you, baby. I'm not finna do all that shit. Do you hear me? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, oh, thank you. I'm going to let your ass get the hollering, hooping, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. get the mucking around, baby. Get the mucking around. And then you know what I'm going to do. When you get done, I'm going to say, you excited. Now, if you get pissed off because you didn't make me mad and I just watched you put on a whole show, you just did the whole shit in front of me. It was entertaining. I smiled. You want a problem with me, and I'm going to give it to you. If I attempt to not have a problem with you, and you keep on, I'm going to give you that problem. I've learned that I like it like that. You got to learn how you like to be treated. I like to try to diffuse the situation. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all not gonna believe this. Look at this. The Four of Cups is here in the reverse, and it is here in the upright. We don't have to take the bullshit. We can take the wind, the star, the healing. We don't have to take the bullshit. We get to take the healing. Oh, look. I told you the newest currency. Love is the new currency, right? This Queen of Cups is in the reverse. Somebody that's jealous. We don't need that. Look, God, look how God dropping stuff and cups overflowing this. Baby, listen. If you don't like the way I navigate my life, you navigate your ass on over there somewhere. How about that? How about you navigate the fuck up out of my face? And then we ain't got to even do none of that no more. Tell your GPS to take your ass around yonder. And I don't tell my team, my GPS that I only like the back roads. And you take the expressway and get the hell off. Okay? We got to start doing... Because, listen. You got the damn heartbreak card on top of the, the, the emotionally immature ass individual. It don't matter what you do. You hear me? Hey, hey! It don't matter what you do. Your motherfucking ass gonna still be, they gonna be mad anyway. Think about it like this. They'll say some shit like, you won't let me talk. And you'll say, okay, talk. See, now, there you go. So I'm here to listen. You said I was interrupting you. You have the floor to talk and you just ain't got nothing to say. But if I got something to say and I'm trying to say it, you wanna. Let me tell you something. What we're going to do is this. This thing say all is well. And this is thinking of a master plan. I'm thinking that the plan, because the next card says, look, it says communication. You don't know how to communicate. You're more of an Apollo liar, you know. So since you don't know how to communicate with me, you ain't going to get to talk to me. No, no negotiation because this is my life. That, that I have total control over this right here. You know what I'm saying? This is all me. And that's you. In your life, you like turmoil. You like conflict. You like to keep on cutting up and carrying on. And I'm not that type of person. So what I'm going to do is not to be involved with you. Your life just got better. Because... Me being in your life, making you do all this hooping the hollering and shit, I'm out of it. I'm done. See, you just like to give it. I just want to have a conversation. Thank you, cousin. I, I, let me go. Let me go. And that was my goal. You, you let me reach goal tonight, cuz. Ooh, my favorite 10, 10 of cups. But the seven, so somebody, ooh. Somebody watching you that kind of help you destroy something going on with your family with some sneaky shit, cousin. Somebody did some shit to destroy a family and they watching you. But it's like they watching you rebuild and realizing that they can't get up, have a high level of commitment with you and that's making them weak about it. I know these motherfuckers ain't went and tossed some shit up and then mad because you went on and mind your damn business so well. They don't get out my cousin's face. The fuck? Cousin. Let me tell y'all. 
Look at this. Page of Cups in reverse again. Like I said, on this all is well. You're not finna take this little childish ass, like, emotional shit no more. Because this King of Cups, this envious type person, somebody that wants you to just listen to them and do what they say, they don't know how to communicate. Look, they don't demon type. They the devil, but they want to play God. Somebody, somebody be on demon time, and it's like you're stable, you're you're cool, and they foolish to think that you. It's like okay, I'm getting a picture, and I don't know. This might have happened to somebody recently. It was like somebody was talking, and somebody the, the lady is sitting on the foot of the bed, and the the foot of the bed is like in front of the bathroom door, and the man is in the bathroom, and he just keep on walking between the, the door and the bathroom. He's yelling at her and she just sit there like this. And he said, like, you don't hear me talking to you? You don't hear me talking to you? And she like, I, I, I tried to, shut up, shut up. So it's like he's asking her stuff, but she just, let, she's letting it happen. She's letting him talk to her like this. And she just sitting there, it don't even phase her no more because she's so used to hearing him talk like that. Ba baby, let me ask you this. Why are you sitting there like that? He at your house. That's your car. He ain't got no money. And don't tell me because he ain't got no place to go because he knew that before he started talking to you like that. But for you to sit there and then have the nerve to send the energy like you so sad, if you don't put this motherfucker out of there, you keep letting him talk to you like that. Mind you, you said you weren't going to let nobody talk to you like that. I know you haven't clicked on here. I feel you. You just watching me because you scared. It's okay. You know what I'm scared. Hey, Bill. How you doing? You know, scared because we don't want to hear that shit. We're not doing that this year. Uh-uh. Because look. It's somebody new. The new dude want to give you a wish fulfillment, sweetheart. It's somebody new that's ready to come in to you. Mm-hmm. But you keep looking at the past that ain't did nothing instead of going to get something that's right and fair. And what you don't know is that this shit finna end anyway. Because you can't be a part of that. You ain't got no choice. It's time for your good karma to come in. Kiji, hey, baby. And it's about to rush in real, real hard. What's this under the bottom? Because you've been standing in your power. I did. You've been standing in your power, sweetheart. You have no choice. Your luck is about to change. These folks about to go. Hey, Ivory. Love you. I did. Where y'all at? Spirit, show me yes. Spirit, show me no. This cousin here that has allowed somebody to talk to them any kind of way, if that person leaves, will they be okay? It went over there real quick. You did trend. I love that for you. I love that for you. Hell yeah. Spoil the shit out yourself because you deserve it. You deserve it. Spirit, this new beginning for cousin, are you saying that it's going to happen when they cut like this very close person off. Yeah. And I had to say very close person because for some of y'all, it's a family member. It's like a sister or some shit. And for some of y'all, it's like, oh, I don't want to call it a relationship. I want to call it um, a situation ship because this person don't even relate to you. Y'all don't argue for so fucking long. It feel like, why do y'all be together? 
Why do you like this person? They don't do nothing but fucking keep up shit. What is you losing? Now to my cousins that's already been single, cut these people off. Isn't it someone new coming into them? Spirit, didn't you tell me that they was not ready for the new person? No? Okay, how did you say it? Did you tell me that? How did you say it? Do they need to get ready for the new person? You, okay, said so they need to get ready. They're not saying that you're not ready for something new. But it's more so like, are they inviting the new stuff in, spirit? That's what it is. You're not inviting. Yeah, you still got some work to do because you you cutting. Are they cutting it off too quickly? Yeah. Um. Do they have too many boundaries? Yeah. Yeah. And have they completely healed the things that caused them to make the boundaries? No. So remember when I was talking about knocking them walls down and stuff? Y'all created these boundaries to protect yourself. But now that you protect it, and now that ain't happening no more. That is far from happening. What next? You got to do what next? You protect it. Now, you put a wall up, paint that motherfucker, put some curtains on it, put a window. I mean, just don't leave that right there, okay? Yeah, learn how to take your guard down a little bit because I be like, ugh, you know, and I'm going to stop doing that. Now I done got this face. <laughs> it ain't as inviting, but it ain't. It used to be, but now it's more like, I'm trying, damn it! I'm. <laughs> you you want you talking to me? Like somebody like, oh, I want to buy you some. Why? I gotta stop doing that, honey bun. I gotta stop being like. If somebody said they want to buy me some, I gotta be like, okay, thank you. I be like, why? What you want? I ain't got nothing. Like, I be. <laughs> Pray for y'all cousin. I'm trying. Pray for y'all cousin. But I'm praying for y'all ass too. Because some of y'all ain't just like me. I swear. I know it. We'll talk about that later. But either way, I love you cousins. <laughs> That's what we working on, okay? Let's get this shit together now. Because somebody for to come in. And we don't want to push you away. Acting all spiky shit. <laughs> I love you. Good night, cousin. I, I, I'm sorry.